Hi, welcome to my another video on Agile. Today I am going to talk about a very important concept of testing in Agile, the exploratory testing. So let's come to the point. What is exploratory testing? Exploratory testing goes beyond the traditional testing concepts. It is sometimes called as a self-managed and self-structured process. This testing is an approach to exploring software without following any pre-documented steps. This technique basically brings out the creativity and the intuitive side of the testers, which helps testers to discover more defects. This essentially changes the real-time and practical thinking of a tester. So, how it challenges the real-time and practical thinking of a tester? Because this is performed without any formal test cases and test planning documents. Here, the tester identifies the functionality by exploring and learning the application, which essentially helps them to design functional and regression test cases required for future execution. The exploratory testing is all about analyzing and finding potential risk rather than monitoring known risk like we do in scripted or specification-based testing. So, does this mean we do not need any test planning in this kind of uh, testing approach? No, that's not completely correct. We do need minimum planning. However, we do not spend much time in planning here. We can say that in this testing approach, test planning, analysis and design, test execution and reporting are all done together and during the iteration itself. In this testing approach, the testers have to put minimum effort for planning but maximum execution covers so that tester gets exact behavior of the application. So, what do we do for an exploratory testing? We first learn the application, we find out testing approaches, what to test, how to test, how to find out the problem, and so on. Then we do a short design where we write down short descriptions or definitions about what we are going to test. Then we execute the test cases and collect result. And finally, we interpret our learning about the product and the issues that we found during execution. Exploratory testing has many advantages. It allows testers to demonstrate own skill set, knowledge, and experience from different perspectives and help improve the quality of the system under test. Some of the major benefits of exploratory testing are exploratory testing encourages the testers to be creative in his or her own sphere, understanding of the product as well as help create quality application from the initial release. As automated tests can help to execute tests quickly, but humans have the unique capacity to connect the dots and come up with different test scenarios. Testers can gain knowledge or enough knowledge from available features or user documentation and learn further about system behavior. This way, testers can improve the test scenario and test at runtime, understanding the input data and test results. Another major benefit is that testers can use deductive reasoning based on the results of previous results to guide their future test on the fly. Agile says, respond to change rather than following a plan. This is because in Agile software development, we cannot stick to plans as requirements might change during development cycle. And in this requirement changing environment, exploratory testing approach bridges between testers and programmers and establishes a fast feedback communication channel. As we know, test automation runs based on existing scripts and it definitely helps to execute tests quickly. However, it cannot find all bugs in the system. For example, it can't tell if the user interface is hard to navigate or appealing to look at. This is where exploratory testing provides well-needed insight. Well, that's all for this video. If it was useful, then please hit the bell icon and subscribe for getting notifications on more such videos. Thank you for watching.